Good afternoon. My name is Rhonda White from HerChristianBusiness.com and I'm here to do another video, um, something that can help you grow your business today. I found a new resource and maybe you've heard about it, maybe you haven't. It's called Ribbit.com, R-I-B-B-E-T. And there's a lot of photo edi editing software programs out there. And this one's very similar to those out there. But what I like about this one is you can create a blank canvas. And last week I created something with a Bible verse and I really liked that because I just wanted the words. I didn't really want a photo behind it. Um, right now, if I click on my account and it says upgrade, it says Ribbit Premium Free to celebrate our launch. Ribbit Premium is on us. So I'm not sure how long they're doing that, but do head over there and sign up uh, why, it's, why it has premium features for free. Okay, so I'm going to start and click a blank, create a blank canvas. And the size I'm going to pick today is 500 by 900. Now later you can adjust the size if, if you have some extra room at the bottom, but um, I'm going to use that size for right now to start off with. You can also pick whatever color you want to start with. So I'm just going to keep the one that I have chosen there and push OK. Now this is not the actual size of that. Down here you can zoom in to the actual size setting, but I find that it's kind of easier to work with to see how your words are being spaced out um, by keeping it smaller. All right, um, now I'm going to click text, and I, what I'm going to do is a Bible verse. I've decided to do uh, Psalms 37 verse 4. So I'm going to take the first word delight. I'm going to use delight and desires. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. I'm going to choose delight and desires to make a lar as a larger font so that those two words will stand out. So I'm going to start off with delight. I want to choose, uh, they have lots and lots of fonts, and, and of course all the um, ones that other software have as premium fonts they're all free here for right now I'm going to let's see this is the hardest part for me is making the choice because I love fonts and I I love to go sometimes I get caught up in testing all the different fonts um, I'll try not to get too carried away with that one I'm going to try this one here and let's see I gotta put the type delight in there and then add okay so and then you can add a color and I'm going to change see I'm already changing fonts there we go I like that one but it doesn't use capital letters let me look for another one okay I like that one there all right And I'm just going to start right there. Then I'm going to take the next part of the verse. Um, up, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the... I'm going to copy that part there. And put that in the text. And add. And of course, I don't want the same font. I want a smaller um font okay let's just I'm gonna try that one there and I might try okay and let's see over here I need to to light thyself also I need to separate lines now in the Lord and he now went off the screen I have to bring it over there show 
give B. You can see more what you're doing there and bring it in. And let's put it in the middle. Okay. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to delete I'm going to leave it. And if you want to match um, the rest of your, they put the font code up there if you want to match it perfectly. I probably, for this video, I'm not going to spend time trying to match all the colors perfectly. I'm just trying to show you how to use this. Okay, so then the next word I'm going to uh, create over here is desires. Okay copy I'll put that in there and I'm going to use the same font that I did for delight so I'm going to choose the same one and then of course I want an, an orange color again it needs to be just a little bit lighter I didn't Give you the desires. I'm going to make that a capital D too, just for it to stand out. And a little bit darker. There we go. Give you the desires. And then I'm going to go over here to grab the rest of the verse of thine heart copy and I'm gonna put that in there paste and I believe I used burst my bubble font so I'm gonna add that in there and I used a dark blue Okay, a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to put the reference there, Psalms 37.4. Okay. And let's keep that uh, larger, a little bit larger size, but I'm going to put it down there. Okay. And then you'll want to put your website at the at the bottom. And I'm doing this for my other blog, herchristianhome.com. So I'm going to add that in there. And put that. I'm not going to quite at the bottom because I'm going to make this shorter now that I know how much space I needed. So let's just put that as a blue too. Now usually if I'm on my own I'll spend just a little bit more time doing it. But as you can see how simple that is. It's fun to work with. Okay so edit now you're ready to do you can push basic edits and then um, let's see what I need resize pick resize and I need it just a little bit shorter see it's uh, kind of extra room on the bottom there so I'm gonna try mm, let's try eight, I don't know 850 that's a still a little bit let's try 800 and length 
Okay. Let's try a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I need to just crop it. Can't remember how I did it before. Okay. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. I'm keeping the proportions. You need to take that off. So I'm going to set it back at 500. And then I'm going to take off the key proportions. That's what I did wrong. And then I need to set it at 850. Okay. Again, it's too much. Let's try 800. There we go. Well, still a little bit. 750. Okay. I'm just going to bring, see, apply. Okay. You can see, um, zoom in to see what the real size is. Uh, this is really great for printers because um, your longer uh, images are going to take more space vertically. And that's what you want. You want uh, like rectangle ones uh, and you want them up vertically. So um, I hope that will be a help to you. Something that you can do to create. Because sometimes you want to uh, create some quotes. But you don't want um, to add images in there. And you can use that. Um, when you're done, just you can click save. And it gives you the option. Uh, to save to your computer, um, you can use uh, JPEG or, or Ping. So those are the two options there to save your photo. Well, thank you and God bless. I hope you have a great week.